and welcome back to my channel uh, my name is Noemi and if you're new to my channel I like to make thrift inspired videos as well as reseller content I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and so if you'd like to check out my Poshmark closet I'll leave a link down below so you can go ahead and check it out so for today's video I wanted to do something a little different in one of my previous videos um, I had mentioned that I was starting to go to a thrift store near my hometown it's called Hobo the Valley and I actually really really like that thrift store I think I kind of just fell in love with that thrift store as I had mentioned in one of my previous videos I had started going there because all of the proceeds go to helping out the homeless which was a big deal to me and my family and it continues to be a big deal for me and my family but once I started going to that thrift store I realized that they had a lot of really good items um, upon doing some research my mother found out that they actually receive a lot of clothing from department stores department store donations which is why at that store I would constantly find a lot of clothing that were brand new with tags which to me in this reselling business is really good because I could get a better profit um, simply because they are brand new with tags and they've never been worn before so I started going to that thrift store more often I really really I really appreciate that thrift store um, they have really great clothing really great items really great brands and they sell them at pretty good prices so i'm able to purchase them and resell them and try to make a decent profit so the, for this video i wanted to do something a little different i just want to show you guys everything that i've purchased at that store in these past couple of weeks that i haven't made it the thrift haul video all right guys well sorry about that i had to change cameras because my phone ran out of memory um i've been trying to use my new camera that my boyfriend bought me which is what i'm using right now it's a canon powershot lf 180 um it's a pretty good camera it's just for for doing these videos i've noticed that i can't see myself and in my camera if i put the front facing camera i can see myself when i'm making my videos so i can see how everything looks and with this camera, I can't really see, but I have this stand with the mirror, so I'm trying to use that. It doesn't really show too much, but I'm hoping everything looks fine. If it doesn't, oh well. I'm just going to hope that these videos come out good. So for this video, I'd really just like to show you guys what I bought at that particular thrift store at Hope of the Valley. So far, I've gone like three times and I haven't been able to record anything because of the holidays and because of finals. I just haven't had the time to you know, film another video. I'm really sorry about that. So everything that I'm going to show is pretty much an accumulation of um, things that I've bought over these couple of weeks. There's actually been one that has sold already, but I'll just mention that one in the end. And I'll also show you guys what I bought for myself at the thrift store. But first I want to show you guys everything that I got for reselling. Okay, I can't wait to show you guys and I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Let me know if you guys do in the comments below, if you guys enjoy me showing you guys what I bought, um, the items that I get. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or concerns or anything, just go ahead and leave me a comment below. I'd be really happy to read your comments. So, 
Anyways, moving on. Okay, so I like to start with uh, the shoes that I bought. Okay, so the first pair that I want to show you guys are these Vince Camuto heels. Hopefully, it's not too bright. I'm trying to see in the mirror. It's just really pretty. They are size six. And this is 6M or 36, I'm guessing 36 European. And they're from the Nordstrom Rack, it says here. They have these stickers in the bottom still from the store. They're brand new, never been worn. And they are originally $59.97 at the Nordstrom Rack. The retail price is actually $98. So I got these pretty cheap at the thrift store. So I thought these were a really good find, especially because they're brand new, never been worn. So I feel like they'd be a really good item to resell. I also found some Franco Sardo, what are these, like booty heels? Yeah, they're booties. I'm not sure how to describe these. Um, I'm still learning how to describe my clothing items and my shoes, so bear with me. Sorry about that. If you know what these are called, go ahead and let me know. But I'm just going to call them booties for now. But they're really nice. They're like a nice light gray. Um, I believe this is a leather. Yeah, leather upper. So this is leather material. It's really nice. It has this like wooden style heel. Three buttons just for decoration. They actually have some zippers on the inside. But they're really nice. I got these because they look hardly worn. Really great condition. There's no scuff marks like nothing's wrong with them they're like very lightly dirty on the bottom but like i'm telling you this person probably just wore them or tried them on once and that was it what i also thought was special about these shoes is that they are a size 13 in women's and i had heard that larger size shoes sell really well because well they're hard to find so i thought these were really nice i had only found these in the canadian websites and they said that they were they retailed at $99 I believe but Canadian dollars so I converted that into American and I believe it's like $75 American so yeah really nice shoes great condition and I can resell these and hopefully get a good profit so these next pair of shoes are Alice and Olivia I was actually really surprised to have found these there I was like no way and they were so cheap um and they're brand new they've never been worn there's like a light scuff on the back of this one but you really can't tell as much so yeah when i found these i just had to get them it's super soft i don't know if you can tell here but the material is just super super soft um like suede now once i looked these up i realized that they originally go for 330 dollars so I was really happy to have found these, but it wasn't until I got home that I realized that they're actually two different sizes. Um, this one is a 37 and this one is a 36.5, which um, converted them to US sizes. One's a size 6.5 and, and the other is a size 7. But there's a very minimal difference. Like, you really can't even tell. I'll put them side by side and you really can't tell. So, hopefully... You know, I mean, most of us have one foot bigger than the other, so hopefully these will find a good owner that either doesn't mind that or that has um, the left foot bigger than the right foot. Who knows, but I'm really hoping they find a good home because they're really beautiful shoes and they're brand new. And so the last pair of shoes that I want to show you guys are these boots. When I first saw them, I was like, okay, they look like really nice structured boots really great condition i wonder what they could be and i looked at the bottom and it said they're made in spain and once i opened inside and looked inside i saw that they were stuart weitzman i had heard of the name stuart weitzman and i figured they're pretty you know higher end brand but it wasn't until i looked up comps that i realized they actually go for a lot <laughs> like the average retail price for these kind of boots are around 500 dollars so I was really happy to have found these. Um, they're both size 7. <laughs> and you can see right here. And so yeah, they're really great condition. So right here in the back, Stewart's Weitzman. I actually have not found any just like these on any um, retail website, on eBay, on Poshmark, nothing. Um, so I don't know, I think they might be vintage, like an older style. 
Um, they have a cute kitten heel. They're just really nice, sturdy. The only flaws that they have is right here at the tip. They have a little bit of fraying. But besides that, they're in really great condition. I um, also like how when you zip down, they have this protective flap. So you're not like, you know, I don't know if anybody's ever experienced that. But you zip up the zipper, the side zipper of your boots. as often as you get stuck in your skin or your sock or something. So I thought that was really nice. And I did notice that the other ones that are reselling online right now are um, suede. And this isn't. This is like um, canvas or nylon. I'm not really sure how to describe it. But it's really sturdy, really soft, sleek, boot design. Beautiful. And I got this for a really great price. It's crazy. So I'm really hoping to resell these at a, at a good price. And I'm sure they'll make somebody really happy. So now I'd like to show you guys the clothing items that I got. I'm going to try to be quick. I found these, um, I actually found a bunch of these, like I said, the store tends to get a lot of items in bulk, um, so sometimes I see a lot of the same items in different sizes, so I really appreciate that because, like, for reselling, I can get, like, a size, you know, 6, 8, 10, 12, or whatever, and I can put those all in my closet, so if somebody likes what I have, but, they don't, but it's not in their size, I have, you know, like, options, I have a variety. So I found these, and these are really, I thought they were really cute. I also got these at an insanely great price. Um, it says here they're originally $138, even at this um, factory store, they were going for $96. Um, this is a cabby size 2. I don't know if you can see that. So I thought these were really cute. Almost like a lace uh, blazer. But yeah very very beautiful and I actually got these in a size 2, 4, and a 6 so I think they're really really nice and I also bought this jacket I just thought it was so beautiful I'm gonna show it over here just in case it's too bright on this side um but yeah I just thought it was so, such a beautiful jacket I don't know if you can see the details but super pretty Again, originally $178 at the factory store was going for $124. And this is an extra small. I don't know if you can see that. I really like the buttons, the turn knobs on this. Let me just turn it and open it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And I also got this cabbie, a lot of cabbie items, so I'm guessing a Cavi factory store donated a lot of their items to this thrift store. So there's this Cavi knit uh, cream jacket. This has this like leather details going around it. So it's really, really nice. Um, it was originally $158 going for $110 at the, thr at the um, oh sorry, this is a Cavi outlet. Um, so it was going for 110 at the Caddy Outlet. So, yeah. It's really, really nice. I want to make sure you guys can see this detail. It's so pretty. Like, two different knit designs. Yeah. So, super pretty. Love it. Here's another Caddy um, sweater from the Caddy Outlet. Originally $158. And it was going for 110 at this outlet. Really fun piece, I thought. This cardigan, beautiful. It's a short sleeve cardigan. I hardly ever see those, but super cute. And yeah, I just thought this would be a really great item to resell. And this one's a size six. All right. Now, I had gone shopping again with my grandma, but I didn't get to get her on camera this time because I really didn't film much. I felt like I was pretty short on time every single time I went to this little store so I kept going there late so I didn't really get much footage as you guys could probably tell from the beginning of this video but this one my grandma found. She thought it was really cute like country style top. Um, seems like brand new like nobody wore it. Um, it says nitty gritty and here in the back it says countryloveandwear.com has a little like country style, cowboy style couple right there. Super cute. And so yeah, I just thought it was a cute simple shirt. You know, I just decided to buy it for the style. And if not, then I'll keep it because 
I actually thought it was cute. And here's a, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a, because it's like knit on there in the name, but it's J. Crew. It's a small slim fit. Really nice pink button down top, fitted, perfect for the office. And it has like this, um, almost like a plaid design. I don't know, that was really cute. And I saw these originally go for like around $70, so I thought that was really good. And here is a Anne Fontaine um, top. It says it's made in Paris, and it's a size 1. It's 80% wool and 20% cotton. So here's the top. I think it's so beautiful, like a knit top. It's just so pretty it's more like a crop top like very open neck I forgot how you call these crop top with long bell sleeves very beautiful top so it was super pretty and I saw that some of these tops go for a lot like a little over a hundred I believe I don't know but it was really nice I couldn't find the exact same one so oh, here it is, Anne Fontaine, made in Paris. Really nice, beautiful top. And yeah, I'm really hoping that I can sell this and I can find a good home. My grandma also found this one. It's an extra large, um, what's it? Style & Co. So Style & Company, it's a blush pink color. Hopefully it shows, I know that the light can actually ruin it, but it's super cute. It has these cute little bell sleeves with like an inner sleeve and at the tip it has like a off white off white bands. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see. So yeah. Super cute little mock neck. Just thought it was super nice, so it's beautiful. I also found this Raffaella. This is Rafaela Studio size small. It's, I don't know how to describe this. This is also, this is an also light pink um, coat. So yeah, it has you know, zipper opening. It has two front pockets. So yeah, super beautiful. And um, that's it here, it was brand new. It's brand new with tags and it says here it's $110 originally. So, yeah. Beautiful. I had bought this dress, Dance and Marvel size 6 for this style. It's a slip dress, a long one. It's like a maxi slip dress. It has this, like a sweetheart neckline. And it's really long. And it has a pretty high slit on the side. So I thought it was beautiful. I actually tried this on. I thought I could keep it. But it's a size small. So it fit me a little too tight. And I would want my slip dresses to fit me loose. So, yeah. Beautiful. Here's a David Bridal lace dress. It's very beautiful with a halter neckline and an open, kind of semi-open back. It's really beautiful. It's more of a fit and flare style, but it's super pretty, fully lined. Brand new with tags, and it said it was originally $149.95 at David's Bridal, but it was going on sale for $89.99, so. I feel like with this black dress, it could have multiple uses, it doesn't just have to be a bridesmaid's dress, so that was a really great find. This is a Rag and Bone. I think it's new with tags because it still has this the string that was holding the price tag. Um, so it's Rag and Bone, New York, size medium. It's a beautiful dress. Very soft material, it's more like a mesh top, mesh top half. And then a very nice um, tight knit 
um, material, nice and stretchy and very comfortable. It looks like it's never been worn. And I had seen that this dress originally went for $325 retail. So I thought this was a really great item to find. Alright, now here's this beautiful white dress. Hopefully it's not too bright for the camera. It's actually a one shoulder type dress. A one shoulder deal. Super pretty. Has a little um, side slit here. Let me see if I can show. Has a little side slit. Super beautiful. It's a white cocktail dress by Jay Godfrey. I think that's how you say his name. And it's a size 4. Brand new with tags. So yeah. It's beautiful. I did it. Um, I did notice it had like a little bit of a black stain on the top part of the shoulder strap like right here on top i'm guessing from the hangers that was that it was on um but yeah but i think it's a big deal because there's nothing wrong with it anywhere else so yeah and i honestly forgot how much these retail for i believe it was like um a couple hundred dollars or a little more than a hundred dollars i forgot but it's a very beautiful dress now there's this dress, um, it's a David Meister dress, and it originally went for $249.97, so it's a, it says here, David Meister, size 12, and I probably won't be able to show the whole thing, um, it's a very long dress, but it's this beautiful red one, also one shoulder dress. It just goes on and on and on. But it's such a beautiful, I mean, honestly, I think it's such a gorgeous dress. If they weren't one shoulders, I'd keep them. I had also got it at a really great price, and I was hoping to sell it for the holidays because it's, you know, this beautiful color. Um, it hasn't sold yet, but I'm hoping it'll find a really good um, home soon. I hadn't noticed when I first bought it that it had a small flaw. I thought I had checked it completely and I thought it had no flaws. And once I got home and I was taking pictures of it to post it, I realized that there was a small flaw. And I'm hoping that it doesn't affect the dress too much in regards to how long it takes to sell. So there's this small black flaw near Mark. I think you can wash it off, take it off. Um, close to the bottom hem of the skirt so it's not a big like deal breaker because you really can't see it it's all in the bottom and it's such a flowy dress um, but I did lower the price a bit of what I would have expected for it just because it has that small flaw okay now this dress I was actually really surprised to have found there especially for the price I got it at it was insane um, but here is this denim corset dress very beautiful has these um like shoelace um lace down details really nice um but it's actually a dolce and gabbana dress like it's crazy <laughs> um let's see here it actually has these two straps thin lace straps so that's how you would wear it Bad zipper back, has a D and G on this on the zipper, and it's a size of 40 Dolce and Cabana dress made in Turkey. And if I'm not mistaken, when I did some research, I think that's a size four in American, but I had the correct sizing, I believe, on Poshmark. And if I'm wrong, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. It says here, size. 40, yeah, very beautiful. I feel like somebody only wore it once because it's really great condition, really sturdy. It honestly feels like nobody ever wore it, but I could tell that somebody wore it because it has very light, like, it has, yeah, it has a very light, like, deodorant or something stain right here, which I'm going to try to clean off before I sell it. But yeah, very beautiful denim fit and flare corseted style dress this item is a design history top size medium 
Well, there we go. But it's a sweater and it's so cute. I had to get it because it had like these tassel like sleeves. I'm actually not sure how to describe these, but they're just so beautiful. I had I had to get this sweater. I'm almost positive. I'm sure it'll find a good home. I was also really happy to find this. The whole Johnny was designed. I just I don't know, I just think they're so beautiful. And I found this um beautiful white. I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting. I like this beautiful like lace like embroidered um top. It has a tie in the front. I'm gonna try to put a stock photo so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Because I think the lighting might be a little too bright for this top. Um, so it says a jade. It says it's jade. Johnny was size medium. So new with tags. And it says it was originally $225. So, wow. Yeah. Johnny was is a pretty expensive brand, I'd say. And it's rightly so because it honestly just so beautiful. And this is an all white top. Usually they have like just lots of color and design and embroidery. Just beautiful. And this is all white but it's still gorgeous. And here I have a likely it's called a Declan dress. Like a baby blue color. Size 8. I thought this dress was beautiful as well. It tastes like a cocktail dress. Nice fitted dress with a uh, slit on the side here and it didn't say here on the tag how much it was originally but I looked it up and it looked like it was originally $198 I think it's just such a beautiful color I don't know if, it, I don't know if that'll help if it's closer to the camera but just a beautiful dress and the last but not least this is one of the most beautiful dresses I found there um actually one of the last items that I purchased there. This is a Aiden Maddox one shoulder gown. It's a copper colored sequin dress and it says here it originally went for $440 retail price. Show you guys that. It's gonna be really hard to show you this dress because it's super long and it's a gown. But it's just so beautiful. I just oh, I think the help the light does it justice. It's so beautiful. It has these like little plastic, almost glass looking um, flower details on the shoulder as well as on the waist. But it's just such a beautiful gold sequin dress. Also has a side slit. It is fully lined and it is gorgeous. I mean, what a beautiful dress. Ugh. It's a size, what did I say it was? A size 10. And I'm telling you, if this wasn't a one shoulder, because I don't wear one shoulder dresses, but if it wasn't, I would totally be wearing this, especially for New Year's that, you know, it's coming up. But it's just such a beautiful dress. Like, oh my gosh. So, I was really happy to find this also at a really great price. And I'm really hoping that it could find a really great home. Somebody that's been looking for a dress like this. And I know somebody will be rocking this dress. It's just such a beautiful dress. I mean, I'm sure it just has to sell. I hope so. So anyways, that was it. That was all of my haul. If you guys stayed for the whole video, thank you so much for watching me. I know sometimes, like, I can take my time showing things and I... And I try to tell myself to be faster, you know, but like, I get caught up. And sometimes I do, like, I get nervous still in front of the camera. And sometimes I don't know how to describe the items or my clothing that I got, so. I'm so sorry, my camera died, so I'm going to try to do this really quickly. I was just trying to say, if you stayed this long for my video, thank you so much for watching. You're a trooper. So, I actually got some items for myself. I'll start with this dress. It's a... Avec Les Filets, I believe it's called. Size medium dress. I think it's called a ballerina dress. It's a fit and flare, like a grayish blue dress. Super soft material. 
and it's just super beautiful. If I can put a stock picture, I will, so you guys can see how it's supposed to look. Um, I got this for, I believe, like $3. It was super cheap and beautiful. I also got this skirt, a Ann Taylor size 10, more like a, you know, circle or like flared skirt. It's a pink, like a mauve pink, called like a dusty rose pink, but it's super pretty, super cute. I got it because I like the style and I really don't have any like this or any like pink colored skirts. I'm not really a pink kind of girl, but I really liked this skirt. And last but not least, I got this chaser skirt. Super cute skirt. I love the three tricolor look it has, kind of like a tie-dye look. It says it's like a vintage like washing and dyeing process, but it is just so beautiful. I love it. A very flowy, soft dress. It's by Chaser and it's a size medium and it fits me pretty well. Fits me good on the waist and I love how it goes out on the sides so it fits me really really well and I just love this skirt. So silky, soft, luxuri luxurious feeling. I wish you could feel it. So so nice. And yeah, I only got this for like four dollars so I thought that was pretty great. And that's it. That's my whole haul. Um, I, like I had mentioned, I had sold one item already. It was a Bernie Dexter dress, fit and flare, like a pinup style. It was white and the bottom had like a, um, like a Christmas village painted on the bottom. A very beautiful dress. It sold really fast. I sold it for like $50 on Poshmark. It was a really great buy because I had got it at a really great price and it sold really fast. So if you're in a reselling business and you find a Bernie Dexter fit and flare dress in great condition, I'd say go ahead and pick it up because it could sell really fast for you. Anyways, that was the end of my haul. I really hope you enjoyed everything that I got. I know I did and I'm really excited to sell these items and find them great homes. Anyways, hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Peace. Bye.